Once scientists discovered the platypus in Australia, its existence dealt the theory of evolution a death blow. Only God could create such an unusual creature in all senses. The nose of this amazing creature resembled a duck's beak, where its name comes from, and it has five fingers on each foot that are connected by membranes. The creature's reptilian-like paws were arranged on its sides, and spurs were found on its hind legs, like those of a rooster. The tail of this animal was not much different from the beaver's tail, and it also appeared that it lays eggs and can poison the enemy with its poison. And this is not a full list of amazing features of the animal, which is the unofficial symbol of the Australian continent depicted on a 20-cent coin. An unusual feature of the beak is that it is covered with elastic skin, which is a huge number of nerve endings. Thanks to them, the platypus, when on land, has an excellent sense of smell, and is also one of the mammals that can sense the weak electric fields that appear during the contraction of the musculature of even the smallest animals, such as crayfish. This electrolocation ability enables the animal, which is blind and deaf in the aquatic environment, to detect its prey by constantly turning its head in different directions while underwater. An interesting fact is that the platypus is poisonous, among other mammals, only platypus lorises, shrews and lenticels have such ability. The animal has toxic saliva, and males also possess poisonous horny spurs. All young animals initially have them, but females fall off at the age of one year, while males grow further and reach one and a half centimeters. Each spur is connected through a special duct to a gland located on the femur, which produces a poison so strong that it may kill a dingo or any other medium-sized animal. Dingoes use it mainly to fight other males, during the reproduction period. The toxin is not lethal to humans, but the prick is extremely painful and a large tumor appears in its place. The platypus inhabits eastern Australia, on Kangaroo Island and in Tasmania, 240 kilometers off the Australian coast in the direction of Antarctica. It prefers to live in freshwater, with temperatures ranging from 25 to 29.9 degrees Celsius. These animals were formerly found all over the continent, but many of them were exterminated by poachers, and the remaining animals moved to more environmentally friendly regions due to too much pollution. The platypus lives in a deep burrow about 10 meters long, with two entrances, one underwater, the other camouflaged by thickets or located under tree roots. Interestingly, the entrance tunnel is so narrow that when the platypus passes it to get into the inner chamber, water is squeezed from the host's coat. The platypus hunt at night and live in the water almost all the time. To survive properly, the weight of the food eaten daily must be no less than a quarter of the platypus's body weight. The platypus eats insects, crustaceans, frogs, worms, snails, small fish, and even algae.